everyone, I'm Erin from Red Buffalo Coffee in San Salvador. These are your virtual home coffee brewing classes. <laughs> Join me over the next couple of videos as we talk about the quintessential elements to brewing coffee better at home. Hi everyone and welcome to your virtual home cafe with Red Buffalo. Today we are going to be going over AeroPress. AeroPress is a not very well known coffee brewing device. In fact, it is made by Arobi, a frisbee making company of all sorts. So an AeroPress is this fun little device here. It comes with a plunger. This creates your pressure. And it comes with what this screws off here and your filter is going to go in here. Your coffee brewing will happen here. And then you're going to press down here to get your extraction. You can use a mesh filter for this. I like this because it is more ecologically friendly, it is reusable, but most often you will use a paper filter. And just like in our pour overs, we will want to give this a quick rinse. Just like in all of our coffee brewing, we go back to that water to coffee ratio. A fun thing with an AeroPress, besides the fact that you can take it camping with you and not break it, is you can really play with your ratios a lot more here. You can get something closer to an espresso and drink it like an espresso, or you can have your espresso and add water and drink it like an Americano, or you can have a larger ratio and then brew it like you would a coffee. So I've done the math here on our water to coffee ratio of a 15 to one or a four to one ratio of water to coffee. So if I were to brew a six ounce cup, it's 180 milliliters, which divided by 15 equals I want 12 grams of coffee. Inversely, or in a smaller way, if I wanted to just brew something more like two ounces and maybe make it a latte later, I want 60 milliliters of coffee or water and 15 grams of coffee. So like my pour overs, I've gone ahead and washed this out with a quick rinse of hot water because again, you don't really want to have that paper taste in your coffee. There are two ways that people like to brew their AeroPress, the inversion way and the upright method. We're going to be using the upright method here. So I have my cup. I put my bottom on here. This is screwed on with the filter in it. AeroPress has come with these fun chambers for dosing and I've already weighed out my coffee. It is my 15 or sorry, my 12 grams. And I should mention to you what our grind setting is here. It's a little finer than our pour over. So I've made it here. We have our ground or regular table sugar. And you can see it's just a little bit finer than that. So here's the sugar. And then this is the coffee. So it's a little finer. And now I am going to pour in our 180 milliliters of water. On the AeroPress, sometimes it has these little numbers that go one, two, three, four. My AeroPress is pretty old, so it doesn't really have those numbers anymore, but I know where it is on here. So I'm going to, whoops, I don't need my doser anymore. I want to get all my grounds pretty wet. And this is a faster brew method, okay? It's going to be about a minute and 30. I've added my 180 milliliters of water. I'm going to give it a quick stir with my paddle or your spoon. And I'm going to stir it for 30 seconds. And now I'm going to just put this on, go in and crook it here, push it down and just give it a little pull up. It's going to create some pressure here. We're going to let it sit. This is total time between when I've entered this in and I'm going to start plunging down will be about another 30 seconds. And then the total plunging time should be about 30. So our total brew time here should be about a minute 30. You will notice that as the finer our grind get, the faster our brew time gets. So that way the extraction and the water contact with the coffee is actually faster when you have more surface area. So now, and this one takes a little bit of um, pressure, so make sure to add even pressure, because if you do not have even pressure, your cup will run away from you and you often will get a big mess. I'm cautious about what cups I use because I've not done it, but I'm terrified of breaking some of my fancy glass cups. You can pour this into a beaker and not break it, so I don't know why I'm terrified of that idea. So you're going to keep pressing down until you hear the air escape and a little hiss. And there's that little hiss. And let it finish there. And come up. 
And what's nice about the AeroPress is it's really easy cleaning. You just unscrew this and pop it right out. And that, my friends, is your AeroPress coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in to your virtual home cafe class. We look forward to teaching you so much more about how to make the best coffee at home.